Hello and welcome to the video. This is a video about how to calibrate your compass at the field. Now I did a little series, um, this is part of it, where I talked about all the steps that I went through to put iNav 3.0 on this Recon FPV Recon 7. This is one of the new generation of quads that's actually coming along with all the necessary sensors installed so that you can put iNav on it. And I think it's a great option for long range quads. It allows you to do a lot more than just the GPS rescue mode. But it's crucial that the compass is calibrated accurately and it's easy to do at the field and I've talked about it but I've never really shown it and it's not really covered in great depth in the documentation either so I thought you know what let me do a quick video. Now stick commands on the radio to change how the flight controller is set up and what it's doing has been around for a very long time. Back in the very early days of multi-rotor flight, we had one of our first flight controllers, something called the Multi-Wing. And the very first iterations of that were actually using the accelerometers and stuff out of the controller from the Nintendo Wii. That's where the name comes from. But back then we didn't have all the really smart companion programs and Lua scripts and all the devices, things like the SpeedyB adapter that we do now to do stuff at the field. So the way it worked back then is that there was a list of stick commands that you could use to either trim the accelerometer, to save and load missions into memory, to do things like arming, for example. So back in the day, you know, the way we used to arm a multi-rotor or a multi-wee was you held the stick over like that on a Mo2 radio and to disarm it, you did it like that. Now that's gone out of vogue and it's now very much on an arming switch and that's pretty much the way most people do it. However, other systems do still use that as the arming process. Now, the interesting thing is, even in our modern flight control software, these stick commands that I'm talking about are still in there. multi wee became base flight, base flight became clean flight, clean flight became both beta flight, and was also iNav as well. So right the way through this entire family of flight control firmwares, the stick commands are still in there, and they're actually listed in the wiki. I'll put a link down below if you want to go and have a look. There's not just this one that I'm about to show you, there's loads of others as well. The two most common that I use are to load a mission, which in a motor radio is that. Uh, if I don't want to have the mission in memory, I unload it using that. And the last one that I tend to use is how to calibrate the compass at the field, where I put the sticks in this position here. Now, the calibration process takes 30 seconds when you initiate it it's going to give you a double beep to let you know that it started in the OSD you'll get a warning to say that something uh, has gone wrong it can't arm because the compass isn't calibrated because that's the compass calibration routine is running it would be better I think the OSD if it actually said compass calibration in action or whatever uh, but then you get 30 seconds and then in that 30 seconds what you have to do is do the multi rotor or the wing dance which is where you put it in each orientation each side of the quad cop to the, to the ground and flick it around 360 degrees I tend to start with it flat and then put it nose down flick it around like that etc etc after 30 seconds there will be another beep from the model to let you know that it's finished at that point you can put the model down and the system is calibrated so let me just run through this and show you how it all works so here we are at the field I've just taken the props off this because it is powered and I've not got my radio around my neck or anything so just for safety so the first thing we're going to do is tell the model that we want to calibrate the compass by using the stick command you'll see in the on-screen display it says the compass isn't calibrated and then what I'm going to do is rotate the model with each of the parts pointing to the ground initially the right way up then turn it upside down then put one side to the ground then the other then the nose then the tail keep it moving you want to be away from any magnetic field you want to be away from anything that's transmitting and just go through this until you hear that beep that beep now means that it's calibrated and now you can then save it so what you need to do is hold the sticks in this position again that command is listed in the stick commands and that is saved the compass is calibrated and you're ready to go so that's the entire process it isn't too tricky couple of pro tips with this first is 
when you are going to do this and you're looking at your on-screen display or you're looking at your goggles, when you start the compass calibration, it will warn and say that it can't arm because the compass isn't calibrated. Don't worry about that. You're just waiting to hear those two beeps. If you've got a beeper on the model, that is the initiation, the start of the process. You've got 30 seconds then to do the dance. Um, I would always do this at a field that you're about to fly in. First job of the day when you fire up your first battery go through the compass calibration and just make sure that everything is working. Now you can use things like the Lua script on the radio, there is a heading down here at the bottom for things like iNav, so you can point it towards north and just see what the heading is reading and make sure that that heading as well isn't moving around wildly at the place you're about to fly. And the big test of course is just take the model off in Horizon or whatever as I recommended in the series and then pop it into nav position hold. If it holds its position well then your compass is probably going to be alright. If it's starts to do that weird toilet bowling then the compass calibration is wrong something needs to be checked but I would always recommend when you go to the field with iNav just go through that process uh, it's worthwhile doing it uh, once every six months just to realign everything so hopefully that's helpful for those of you that were interested in how you do this that is the stick command you have to hold on a motor radio the sticks in that position and that will start the process when it's finished, I normally put the sticks like that and that saves the information down and then you are ready to fly. And if you ever are at the field, you go into position hold and you have some weird behaviours, I would land it and recalibrate your compass as the first thing to check. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.